This is Chris. Every day she texts vital information to Flo, and Flo promptly writes back. Chris suffers from chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. This is no ordinary person-to-person -person messaging session. Flow is a computer program that helps to monitor her condition. When I do my abs in the morning, I do my blood pressure and I write it down in my book because I like to keep a record as well. Then I do my SATs, I write that down, um, which does my pulse. And then I do um, the temperature and I text them through to flow. And then within whew, seconds, the replies come back. Using mobile phone SMS technology, Florence, or Flo to her friends, is a telehealth system that automatically analyzes Chris's readings and then responds, giving her reassurance or guidance if any action is required. Flo also sends email alerts to healthcare professionals if problems arise. Chris is one of the first patients to be given this assistive technology by Stoke-on-Trent Primary Healthcare Trust. The system's called Florence, from Florence Nightingale, and the patients talk to the matrons about Flo. Uh, Flo sent me this message, Flo's asked me to do that, and they comply more because they're using their own mobile phone. Um, the messages come, they're all signed off from Florence or from flow and the patients actually react to it and uh, comply with the messages and the instructions that they're, they're given. I have got on my mobile where I've had instances where it tells me my blood pressure is low to take it easy and rest or if flow's not happy I get a text telling me to phone the community matron. Because Chris has recorded and texted the results of her own observations, they can be assessed remotely by her community matron. It's Wednesday morning and I'm looking at Chris's um, flow telehealth um, observations uh, prior to going out to see her. This is the message that um, Chris receives in the morning. It's just a reminder so that she knows that she needs to do her readings. If after about an hour, she hasn't done her readings, then she'll be reminded again to take them. If the readings haven't been taken at all, we'll get email notification that, that they haven't been done. Predominantly, a readings are within uh, normal limits for Chris. The other machine I had was plugged into the phone socket, so I was tied to that every morning. And if I wanted to get up and go anywhere, I couldn't go until I'd done that. Um, Whereas with this system, you can do this anywhere. If I choose to go down to Wales tomorrow, I just take my equipment with me and I can do it down there. My sats are fine and my temperature's fine and my pulse is fine and I'm still living. I'm still here to nag your duck. Give us a kiss. <laughs> the software is not restricted to laptops or office computers. A mobile phone app has been developed to give more flexibility to those who want to take flow out and about more easily. When we compare the cost of running this system with um, other Thai health systems that are out at the moment, this system would come in at about 10% or less. Uh, for example, for Chris, it probably costs um, just less than 50 pence um, per day um, on average, and that includes the messages that Jenny um, sends in as well. So cost effectively if we avoid uh, one visit um, from Jenny every, every few weeks, um, the system's paid for itself and that doesn't take into account the uh, savings on medication or out of hours services or indeed uh, exacerbations and um, hospital admittances. Flow picks up on different things so the matrons can see on the graph straight away there's a problem um, which a lot of people wouldn't be aware of they just um, sort of think, oh, well, it, it's that, it'll be all right. But this condition can bring the illness on so quickly that you've got to be very, very on top of it. Here, which is about the, thir the 13th of August, her blood pressure, her systolic level was quite low. I think she went down to 105. Um, the system actually notified me of it via an email alert, checked the system and 
realised that there was a problem, contacted Chris, um, spoke to her, realised after our um, telephone consultation that she possibly was having another exacerbation, went out to see her and we started some rescue antibiotics. To me, it feels like I've got my own physician. I feel very privileged and very lucky um, that I can manage myself with the help of Jenny and my medication. Patients with diabetes, um, dementia, uh, vascular cognitive impairment, um, people with uh, hypertension, long-term hypertension, um, all of those groups of patients uh, would benefit from some kind of telehealth. Hi, Mick. How are you? Oh, not bad. You're all right. Thank you. Hi, you're Chris. Hi, you're Jenny. And we find it reducing their anxiety. It's uh, alerting the community matrons and GPs when there's uh, observations um, are going off track. And so there's an early interventions and it's um, avoiding hospital admissions as well. We were really lucky this time because your um, telehealth system yep. actually identified that you were starting to that's feel unwell, wasn't that's it? That's right, and, and you phoned me, yeah, so yeah. that proves it works. Exactly, exactly. <laughs>